What's going on guys, Austin Richo here, and today we're opening some Marvel Legends. So this is an exclusive pack from Toys R Us that of course we weren't able to get from Toys R Us because they went out of business. So I believe we got this from Entertainment Earth. So if you are looking for this set, you can find that on Entertainment Earth if you want to. But this is of course from Avengers Infinity War as you can see here. And it's the three pack of Thor, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. And so this goes along with the, of course the uh, Infinity War movies because the three of them all break off to go find Thor a new weapon and because he lost his hammer obviously from Thor Ragnarok and so they all set out to go to, I don't know what the planet's called or anything but they all set out together to go get a new weapon for Thor and everything so this is a pack of that so of course as I mentioned we've got the Thor Rocket Raccoon and Adolescent or Team Groot there so let's go ahead and get into it. So first up here we've got the Thor and so this Thor is overall very similar to the Thor we just opened in the Wave 2 of Infinity War character uh, Marvel Legends that we just did a couple weeks ago. Overall the look is very similar and he's got the same outfit design it's just different colors and a look to him. So first off we'll look at his face up here first and so as you can see this does of course look like Chris Hemsworth. I think they do a really good job on these face softs now and I think they're supposed to be getting even better. Um, but this is towards the very beginning of the movie um, when he still, of course, got the missing eye that he got in Ragnarok and everything. So you can see he's still got the eye patch there missing the eye. Till, of course, Rocket gives him one. He stole off somebody and then he puts it in everything. But it's interesting. So he has the shorter haircut look that he got, of course, in Ragnarok. Now like how there's still, you know, the patch of hair like missing out of the side of his head from where the Stanley guy cut his hair and everything. But you can see maybe on this side to where he's got his normal, he does have some... You can kind of see some silver like electricity marks coming out of his eye. I assume that's supposed to be lightning just like on his chest here. But instead of the blue that they normally do for his lightning, they did it in silver. So that's kind of weird and different. But then going down, so he's got a coat or a, I guess a jacket, a vest. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, here, again, very similar to his Ultimates version. You know, it's a black ch uh, chest whatever covering with the silver like circles on it. Again, I don't know why, but the class. Thor look has these circles on his chest and as you can see it's got like the silver lightning looks going in between them again I don't know if that's supposed to be his electricity or if that's just design don't know for sure but he's in all black as you can kind of or see because you know kind of fits along with at this point in the movie he's lost a bunch of Asgardians and you know supposedly half of them died and he's just in a very terrible situation Loki's died and everything and so he's lost a lot of people and so you know the black fits with the situation but then going down his arms you can see he's you know plain and basic on the arms just then he's got these black um like leather gauntlet things around his arms then going down he's got black leather pants on again this is very similar to the the um wave two figure it's just he's more in his actual colors there but they're still all the same design then going down into his shoes where like i remember his uh wave two ones had like gold all over them where these are just all black his um, boots are all blacked out except for the silver parts right there, which I do like this black and silver look. I really like what they did with that, um, but things, yeah, just all blacked out on the back. So there's the Thor, and of course he doesn't come with his um, hammer or anything because it got broken by Hela in Ragnarok, but he, for some reason he does come with um, Heimdall's sword, which of course is the sword he uses at the Bifrost Bridge, you know, to open the different uh, portals or whatever to all the different realms of Asgard and everything and so he's got the sword which he never had in the movie at all like Heimdall used it to open and you know send Hulk back to earth and everything but Thor never uses it but for some reason he comes with it so it's a cool you know weapon I guess you can throw in there with Thor so that's kind of cool but that's gonna be it for Thor. Next up here we've got Rocket Raccoon and of course he's just a raccoon and a little tiny figure here so compared you know to Thor he's just real tiny and everything there's not much to go into obviously he's got his raccoon face there um, I didn't like look at or point out like uh, Thor's movements or anything, but it's a Marvel legend So it's all the same. Um, so rocket though will have different moves So he can obviously just move his head side to side. It doesn't rock back and forth hardly at all it's Just kind of a little bit I thought his mouth would open by the way it looks but it doesn't or I can't get it to at least Then he's in this all green uh, bluish color jumpsuit Which of course the Guardians uh, or he wore I believe in uh, the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie Or at least it's kind of like the Nova Corps type uh outfit here that he's wearing um but he's just got that outfit on i don't know for sure if that's what it's supposed to be but um that's what it looks like to me at least um going into his arms since this is a different figure i will point 
pointing out their joints and everything. So, of course, he's got little tiny joints here, so he's just got an arm. Of course, the whole arm can, like, twist around with that joint, and then it's got butterfly movement, so it can move up and down. Then he's got a single little elbow joint, so the elbow can just bend in back and forth and his wrist can turn around and everything same on both sides then he doesn't he does have a little bit of an ab crunch he doesn't move a whole lot but he does have it then of course he's got um, hip joints here so he can you know move his legs in and out he's got the upper thigh thing where you can twist it all around a little tiny knee joint which doesn't look like it's going to be hard to move it's just like his elbow so you have to be very careful with that then of course his foot's just a little like um, ball type thing on there so it can twist around and everything then of course he's got his tail which does have movement that can go up and down and you can easily adjust it to help him stand up and everything so that's cool and there's not much to Rocky here of course this is Rocky is obviously from when they meet Thor in uh, uh, Infinity War when he bumps into the Guardians of the Galaxy but he comes with a bunch of weapons so he's got this giant gun here so you can obviously try and stick this giant gun into his hands um, of some somehow I don't know how you'd really get him to hold it or anything but I'm sure there's a way to do it but there you can see the design of the gun there but if you want to he does also come with some smaller handguns so I don't know what these are supposed to be or anything but here is the first one so you can see there's a little tiny handgun there looks like it's got a three barrel gun sh or shot on it there and then a little tiny gun another handgun here that looks kind of like Han Solo's gun there that you can also put into his hands I think is really cool and so this is you know nothing new this rocket character or figure isn't new or anything probably just the outfit design is the only thing that's new or different about it but there's nothing like you know that's really changed a whole lot about this compared to past rocket figures but that's gonna be it for rocket raccoon and our last character here is Groot and so this is the adolescence or teen Groot as you could say so he's very skinny and he's of course gotten taller so just for rocket you can see the size difference, you know, where he used to be where Rocket could, you know, hold him and everything when he was the baby version. But now he's growing up tall and, um, you know, going into a teenager form here. So, again, this is a weird Groot. And so here's a look at his face. He's got weird looking eyes. They did weird eyes, but I kind of like them at the same time. It's like they did weird, like, illusions almost with it. Um, the way they're painted on there. But I think... It, looks you they're like a gold eye so it's kind of weird then he's got his head of course with the like normal head design that he had originally then he still does have some twigs you know coming off the top here he's growing some twigs off his head and everything there and i like how they threw the green in so he's got some you know green like mossy stuff on the top of his head then and there too and then growing down on his chest and everything he's got moss growing on him so he's got i like how they threw in the green on his arms everything just threw it in there you know showing that he's growing up and aging and everything then we go into his body that will look of course he's just made of wood so he got a bunch of wood design but he's got really small arms again it's just like a rocket so it's you know it can move a little bit of course has some limitations due to like the wood design and then it can have a little bit of a wave like a butterfly joint there but not too much again it's probably the wood design a very small elbow joint, so you have to be careful. It looks like he can bend his arm backwards almost. So you have to be careful with that. And then, of course, a hand that can flex a little, so it can flex and then also spin around. Then going down, he does have the abs, so you can't really, like, bend him or anything, but he does twist around there. Then he's got the upper hip, or the, yeah, hip joint there, so you do have some movements back and forth and can stick out to the side there. No other joints along the way going down to his knee, which is a weird design, um, again, it's just like rockets. It's, you know, got just the single thing there, which is, you know, kind of sticking and everything, but you can bend it. Um, but you can also twist it around too, so you can like get his foot to all different positions there. Then going down to his foot, which is kind of cool. So it's, you know, looks like a tree stump or something, you know, the flat tree stump there, which does have, you know, the flexibility. So you can twist it side to side to help get him to stand. And that's obviously going to be the same on both sides there. So I had to play around with it just to be able to get him to stand up and everything and then just something kind of funny <laughs> they threw butt cheeks on him two wooden butt cheeks there on the back on his butt so that's kind of funny and the only thing that rocket comes with is what's supposed to be his little game that he's constantly playing throughout the whole movie it's just a clear like panel with you know some circles on it here which obviously the um thing which i think it shows in the picture somewhere yeah on the side of the box there that's more what his game looks like but for some reason they just threw in like this iPad looking design and you know you can just try and like get it into his hands somehow 
I don't know if I can even do it right now, but yeah, just get it stuck into his hands because he just plays that the whole time. So that's going to be it for our group. So that's going to be it for this Invigors Infinity War Toys R Us exclusive pack, three pack of Thor, Rocket, and Groot from Avengers Infinity War. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos, and we will see you next time.